Crespo here and welcome to a little tutorial how to get this amazing looking mongoose. So what you want to do, go on campaign, Halo 3, you have to start on point alpha, do not start on bravo, I actually did do it on bravo for 20 minutes, I completed the mission and I didn't get it. So you have to do it from alpha, from the very beginning of the mission to the end. Uh, yeah, you can pick any skull you want, so pretty much just don't put any on. So straight off the bat, at the start of the mission, turn around and there'll be a plethora of weapons. I recommend picking up a BR to headshot the Flood and a shotgun. Because they're the best versus the Flood. Most of the enemies at the first half of the mission are all Flood. So I just recommend these two weapons. Yeah, fast forward, you go to this area, this big area where there is a lot of floods. A lot. For me, I'm not very good at guides. But I can say this, like, headshotting the grunts is... Uh. So what you want to do, headshot the, the uh, flood that don't have the blue player armor. Because they're the ones that you can just one shot with BR. But then when you do see the blue plate one, you want to use the shotgun or a melee or let the arbiter deal with them. Because they got shields and they don't take headshot unless you knock their shields off. But anyway, this bit is just straightforward. You just got to clear out a low flood and just make your way up the tower. Best strategy here is pretty much new for checkpoints for your advantage. Just stay clear of flood, let the arbiter do quite a bit of damage. For this bit, I recommend another YouTube video for this first half of the video. So yeah, there's a video called Let like Talk Nerd, and he released this video really quick, but his first half of his mission is very good or how to, you know, use a few shortcuts and you know just basically good strategy of how to survive the top of the tower so i recommend his one you should stick around for my one because i can i figure out a good way how to do the mongoose section the best weapon in new against flood are the dual plasma rifles the shotgun the br carbine uh the flamethrower is very good I kind of figured it out halfway through, I was like, wow, there's a flamethrower here, and it actually does do a lot of damage. All you have to do is just stay back, don't don't dive in with it. But in this section, you've got Sergeant Johnson and the Arbiter supporting you, so you can kind of let them do it. But yeah, the top part of the section is kind of difficult. When the floods are jumping up, you want to be like in the center like rotating round the doorway like protect you know just knew him the doorway to block the shots coming from the flood and using the shotgun or a carbine or a BR if you find one but yeah after all that you fight the boss heal he spark and then once you beat him it's pretty straightforward you want to just climb up kill the flood on the way kill the uh, sentinel with plasma rifle, sentinel beam, just, yeah, they're pretty easy to deal with, but the problem is you don't deal with them, they will kill you very quickly. So this is the part with the mongoose. So what you want to do, get the warhog, drive forward, and then there's this little nook cranny in the left corner, go to that left corner, and around this corner there's a mongoose, a single mongoose. This is the trick that nobody covering yet. Well, maybe a couple people in the comments sections. So what you want to do is jump out the warhog and tell the arbiter to get off the turret. Jump on the mongoose and then bam, you got yourself a personal dino meat shield. So on my first run, I didn't have the arbiter on the back. And I kept dying a lot. Now, with the Arbiter, bam, yep, he's the shield. He protects you from the Sentinel Beam, so you got pretty much like your backside is pretty much like armor lock. They can't, you know, they can't kill you unless they shoot the mongoose itself or they shoot you, but because the Arbiter is blocking that, you can survive. Well, the great thing is, if you do fall off a mongoose, the Arbiter will just 
teleport back onto the mongoose as a passenger so there isn't any worry about losing him because if you didn't tell him to get off that warhog turret he would still be there so on this first section you, I think you have to go through the middle and just make your way over ramp to the next section where you will get a checkpoint so luckily it isn't too hard with all the checkpoints it is kind of very forgiving like it's, it's just really it just takes some time if you're not too good at this then over time you will be able to do it with all these checkpoints giving you the retry so the part that get kind of difficult is like the pathway because some parts of the map blow up and you have to take certain routes but there are multiple routes so you can't really do bad and even as you do die you just redo it and you know where the path is but what you want to do when you see sentinels go to the far side of the left or right of them as in don't get don't get that aggro don't let them shoot you don't let them target you just try and get one or two to target you and that's it that's what you have to do there's not really much advice it's just just stay away from the crowd all right and then this bit you have to take the ramp Alright and then on this section you want to take the far left because most of the sentinel are on the right or in the middle so going around the far left the path doesn't blow up so you can take this route and it's actually pretty easy but yeah once you get to the next like ramp I don't know what you call the section but like the runway kind of section go to the left I believe you have to go to the left to make this jump But yeah, like my advice keeps saying, just say, try and stay away from the sentinel as much as possible. You can aggro a few of them, but with the Arbiter, you can aggro a few more than two because of how resilient you are to damage because of the Arbiter. Yeah, for this little bit here, which is a bit random, but I didn't take the ramp because there's so many sentinels, so I just took the long way round to the far right seems really safe firing sequence initiated. but yeah once you get to this kind of bit where you see the ship then it's pretty easy There's you kind of still have to avoid the floor from blowing up, but then it's pretty straightforward. But yeah, anyway, at the very end, just make sure you gun it. Don't slow down, don't don't swerve, don't do any of that. Just go forwards, and then you're straight in the hangar. And then done. It's complete. You've done it, you've got 77k XP, and you got a mongoose skin. But anyway, yeah, this is the mongoose skin right here. What a sexy little piece. But yeah, it's not... This tutorial, it wasn't the greatest tutorial, but... Like I said, you should go over to the other guy's channel, view half of his video, and then at the end, view half of my video, or just view both of our videos. This is pretty good that you can do this solo. 
when I saw this, I was like, oh, I don't have any friends who play Halo much anymore. I was like, how, how, how am I going to get four players? And then I thought, hold up, you can do a solo. But anyway, I've been Crespo, and I hope you enjoy this video, and I hope, well, yeah, I hope to see you around again.